another two? Yep, that's right. Two songs coming out this week. I'm going to explain. Don't worry. We're going to go into the computer. I'm going to show you how I made my brand new, I don't even know what you would call it. I want. I, it's not an EP. It's two songs. Basically, that's what I'm putting out this week. Two songs for Peaceful Friday. And in fact, I didn't even know I was going to do this till last week, but I'm going to show you what I did. But basically what I did was I did something completely different with what I'm putting out this time, and I know every single week I'm like, this song's so special, this song's so special, this song's so special, but this time it is special, but it's just different. Like this is so different for what I did um, compared to what, I don't have, I literally have never done this with a song ever, ever in my life actually, and so I'm really, really excited. This one's called Be Still, it's a part one and a part two. I'm gonna take you into the computer and I'm gonna show you what I did. This one's gonna be a little bit longer of a video because well, there's two parts and I got a lot to explain, so I'm really excited to get into the song. Peaceful Fridays, be still, let's get it. All right, so before I even get into the nuts and bolts, the technical stuff of how I made the song, I wanna just share a quick story of like how I made the song at the moment that it happened. So I had just gotten back from my trip to LA. I was there visiting my homie Corey Wallace and let's see, it was around September, uh, wow, maybe it was, yeah, it was September of 2019, 2020, I believe. Yeah, it was September 2020, and I had just gotten back from LA, and my bro, Connor Jean, was, oh, so this was around, oh my god, so this song was a year ago. It was, it was, it was around Thanksgiving time, my homie, Cor, uh, my homie Connor, my homie Connor Jean was back, um, back in town visiting for Thanksgiving break, I guess it was, or maybe it was Christmas. It was around this time last year, actually. And I don't know. He was like, yo, let, let. I, I think maybe I was like, yo, we should make a song. Like he's not a musician. He's, he's a basketball trainer and an entrepreneur and just a homie. And we were like, yeah, let's make a song together. And so he doesn't know how to make music. He doesn't do that. But he was just like giving me input and being like, yo, we should go for this chill, smooth, flowy vibe. And so we put this song together. So shout out to my homie Connor Jean uh, for helping me put this song together, man. Thank you. He, he was there for me making the beat. He was also there for me writing the lyrics and even recording and gave me tips on that. And it was cool. Since Connor and I worked on the song, I way reworked it like a lot. I even re-recorded all the vocals like two weeks ago just to give it a little bit stronger of a feel. So let's go in. Let's let me show you piece by piece how I made the song, what made it special, and I'm gonna take you into the reason why it's so different. So first things first, started with a sample. You know where we're going with this, right? V I B E as usual. That was it, by the way melodically and I know for me that's so different because usually I'm like throwing a hell of melodies that's coming but not yet so that's the first thing I did next thing we've got is snare kind of did a snare and a clap and I merged them together hi-hats more hi-hats Get another perk, percussion, and then the kick. All together. Smooth, right? I'm not gonna show you the rapping part. I'm gonna have you just listen to the song to check the rapping, but smooth rapping, like. Mode rapping. Went into the chorus. I will break down the chorus vocals for you though. First one, we've got a we got a main vocal. Looking for somebody I can trust, someone I can talk to forever. There's a must. Something on your mind, well then, baby, let's discuss. Let's discuss and be still. Cool. Got layers, of course. Looking for somebody I can trust, someone I can talk to forever. There's a must. Something on your mind, well then, baby, let's discuss. Let's discuss and be still. So, there's a little difference mixing wise with how those were. The main vocal, very crispy. Looking for somebody I can trust, someone I can talk to forever, there's a must. These ones you can tell have some effects that give them a little bit of like warmth. Looking for somebody I can trust, someone I can talk to forever, there's a must. Big kudos to my homie Corey on that because Corey was like, yo, you need to mix 
Like if you're going to do a bunch of vocal layers like the way you do them, you need to mix the layers way differently than you do the main vocal and give it that variety. One of the best tips he's ever given me. I recorded some other vocal layers at a higher octave. Looking for somebody I can trust, someone I can talk to forever it is a must. Someone you might hold and baby let's discuss. Way different. Let's put those together with the other. Looking for somebody I can trust. Someone I can talk to forever it is a must. Someone you might hold and baby let's discuss. You can kind of hear it. It blends together. And then the other thing I did was I added these little oohs. Ooh. Right? Ooh. Ooh. I do that from time to time. Not often, but I do do that from time to time. All together. Ooh. Looking for somebody I can trust. Someone I can talk to forever it is a must. Someone you mind wouldn't baby let's discuss. Let's discuss and be still. This is so smooth. And be still. Bam. Now gets into the special part. So, originally, the song was three verses and three choruses, right? No, four choruses. So it was verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Oh no, so three. Three of each. It was a long song and it was super smooth, it was vibey, but I was just like, you know what? The song feels a little long, the beat's getting a little repetitive. What if I broke it up into two parts? So, that's what we did. We. Me, myself, and I. Ha! <laughs> that's what I did. So I'll show you how I did that. What I did was I took the sample and reversed it. So now we're into part two, which is when you check this song out on your preferred streaming platform, it's literally two songs. It's not one big song, it's two songs, two audio files. So, but it's in the same session. I could have bounced this out as one big fat song, but I was like, let's break it up into two. That's what makes the song, this whole thing different. It's not one song, it's literally two audio files. So, if you put it into your playlist, or if you wanna listen to them, it's two, it's two tracks. Marketing wise, I don't give a hoot what that does, if that's a good idea or not. Don't give a hoot. I just wanted to be creative. First thing, took the sample, reversed it. That's a vibe, got that from Drake. That's a big Drake thing to do. Now, look, originally, I had the exact same drums but I changed them. So this time I have a completely different drum track. I'm just gonna go play you just the drums right now all together for part two. Way different, way different. I like these drums more than the part one. This is dope, with the reverse melody. that recorded I was like good this is great and then I was like wait more melody that's what I did played like kind of this little like kind of some keys some melodies gives it a little bit more a little bit more flavor and then I'm gonna have some strings coming in as well I know, a little unexpected. I know. I mean, that's how I feel about it. Right? Let's hear all those melodies together. Muy bueno. At the end, I have this crazy synth come in. This is at the end. This is like to end the song off, and along with it are the other melodies. So let's hear all those together. And that's to give it a moment. In fact, what I'll do too, I'll, I'll show you how, how it all comes in. Looking for somebody I can trust, someone I can talk to forever it is a must, someone you mind wouldn't Such be. Let's discuss, let's discuss and be still. 
super vibe. The last thing I want to show you is how I mixed my verse. This time, I, I pretty much had the verse mixed almost exactly like I did the last in the verse in part one, but I threw a lot more distortion and warmth on it. Check it out. So this is regular. Learning how to change without changing my core. Just got back from LA. Regular. Feel like I opened some doors, but goddamn, I want more. I've been trying to run up. But then I threw some effects on there to give it a completely different vibe. Learning how to change without changing my car. Just got back from LA, feel like I opened some doors, but goddamn, I want more. I've been trying to run up the score, two mile run on this. Let's quick here, just a sneak peek. I'll give you a snippet for God's sake, relax. Learning how to change without changing my car. Just got back from LA, feel like I opened some doors, but goddamn, I want more. I've been trying to run up the score, two mile run on the strand, they hit you up on the shore. You say you miss me, well, I miss you too. Tell me about your day and all the shit you do. You're the one I want to listen to. Got something that I didn't want to say because it don't fit the mood. Yeah, so like I said, this song, way, way different than the way that I've done songs. I mean, it's not even this song. It's two songs. I took one song. I was going to have it be one song, and I broke it up and made it two songs to give it way more of a moment. Look, here's the deal. Sometimes when you're a musician, I mean, I know I go through this. I don't know if you go through this as a musician or if you're even a musician, but I know I go through this. Because I am literally DIY, like do it yourself on like every, oh my God, I'm like literally getting a headache just even talking about this. But the marketing and the business bleeds into the music all the time, like all the time. If you're in the music business and you handle the music and the business, then the business is going to bleed into the music. It happens. And sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it makes for great music. Sometimes it just puts a strain on you. It, it does for me. And one thing that I've learned is not to let that happen. One thing that I've learned is I make so much music that it doesn't matter if that that happens like sometimes I do let the business bleed into the music where I need to make a song that's catchy and oh I don't want to do that thing because it, it, it might might not catch people's ear because it's not comfortable for people to hear that and sometimes I'm like screw it it's music and it's something that I want to do personally and, and somebody's gonna connect with it and that's okay with me you know that's fine with me that, that, that maybe it's not something for the masses maybe it's it's not gonna be a pop hit like this isn't gonna be a pop hit you know, this, maybe, who knows, but I, I don't see this being, oh, a big, massive pop hit banger that's going to put me on the map. I see this as being something that's special to me, that I love, that I care about, that I want you to listen to, that maybe you'll care about. That's what I see with this song. And it's a very meaningful song. You know, this is a really interesting song emotionally for me because this song, this is a song that I made when I did meet my wife. This is before me and her were like, really exclusively dating and I refer to her a lot and it's when I was starting to kind of start to feel like maybe maybe this girl's I don't know maybe this girl's pretty cool maybe she's somebody who I can see myself being with I mean this was a little snippet moment of me saying well let me explain myself you know they really these are words that I really should have said to her at the time but I didn't I said it in a song it's about what I'm struggling with emotionally as wanting to be a musician entrepreneur do these things but then also have my heart taken care of that's what this song's about really powerful stuff it's a really deep song and and i'm really proud of it i'm really happy for it but both both songs however you want to call it both songs uh anyway so you know i'm i'm really uh i'm really thankful for you for watching this video and i'm thankful for you if you do go check out the song do me a favor if you can like this video subscribe to the channel because i'm putting out these videos every week and i'm putting out a new song every week to end off 2021 and if you're watching this and the song hasn't come out don't worry it's coming out this friday and if you're watching this and the songs are out go listen to them they're in the link below all right so thank you so much for for joining me on this journey i appreciate it a lot hopefully uh, you get some value out of it all right my name's Lizzie the Gifted. This has been another episode of Peaceful Fridays Behind the Scenes. I'll talk to you next week. Peace!